Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, it's Wednesday before the 4th of July, and we're going to close early today at noon and be closed tomorrow and then reopen uh, Friday morning. So overnight, we're seeing prices up, beans up a nickel, uh, corn and wheat up about four cents. Could be some evening up, short covering in, fr in front of the holidays uh, and also in front of the weekend. The um, U.S. Um, Midwest weather forecast has the 6th to 10-day looking to be a, a little bit drier. Thunderstorms will work uh, through from time to time, favoring the way west into next week. The 11 to 16 day map sees some ridging in the west with the Midwest seeing average to maybe a bit below average precip and average temperatures. So given the rough start we've had with the record wet weather, this forecast looks like it's okay for crops. I think uh, earlier in the week, the U.S. Um, the traders were surprised that the USDA did not increase crop ratings of the corn and beans. They thought they would Im have improved. Uh, that might have offered some support, especially in the corn market. Uh, we also uh, noted that uh, the winter wheat crop ratings got better, and certainly uh, yields are coming in better than expected for both uh, U.S. and Russia. Um, we were told yesterday that the USDA is going to use uh, the new NAS acres for corn and beans on their July 11th report. Uh, that could set us up for a little bit of a negative corn report, but there's quite a few wire stories reports out that uh, corn analysts just don't believe the USDA numbers and want to kind of move forward. The, the problem is that most of the trade we have is algorithm machines and they're going to have to see some kind of headline in order to uh, bring back uh, some of their uh, sales that they made after the report on Friday and on Monday. You know, technically speaking, we've seen a decline in corn open interest for much of uh, the month of June. Um, we've seen an increased open interest in the last few days, and that could be um, end users coming in and start pricing uh, this big break in corn. Support these corn is around 419 with resistance at 440. Soybean open interest has been dropping sharply during the month of June. Could be due to the drop in global trade, especially with uh, China. Right now, nine dollars is November bean support. Nine twenty is resistance. It feels like the bean market could break below that nine dollar level of support. Even though USDA uh, lowballed the soybean acres here in the United States, we still are going to have a big carryout, big South American supplies, and reduce China demand. The Chicago wheat open interest has dropped sharply since early May. This could be due to some short covering before the U.S. harvest, following the corn market higher. December wheat's five dollars and resistance is five forty. And with a big global supply, it's kind of hard to imagine wheat market uh, rallying much unless the corn market rallies. The funds sellers of wheat um, they bought some corn, they sold beans, meal, and oil yesterday. We continue to see them just barely long some wheat, long about one hundred and ten corn, and short about sixty thousand beans. So in general, um, we're looking for a little bit better tone. Uh, maybe evening up in front of the holiday and the weekend. And as we come back after the 4th of July, uh, we'll be watching weather and the impact it may have on northern hemisphere yields. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.